Okay, John, when it's uh, complete and back in action, how many carriages do you think it, uh, it can pull on the Welsh Island and the FR? Uh, well, they should be uh, able to do a similar performance to the, the Prince and the other England engines, we would hope, um, which uh, should mean about uh, six carriages on the First Indian Railway and uh, probably about three on the Welsh Island, as uh, the general rule of thumb is that uh, a loco's capacity on the FR is twice the number of carriages as on the Welsh Island. And that's down to the, the gradient uh, being basically twice as steep on the, on the Welsh Island, so halving the capacity of the loco. So John, when you, you're uh, reassembling the locomotive, will you make any changes to it? Will you improve anything? Um, basically no. We, the, uh, the idea is to restore the loco to be a working museum piece. Um, so some of the changes that were done to say the Prince, where it had a superheated boiler fitted, uh, that's not something we'd be considering for the Welsh Pony because um, we've got a, a conservation plan that sets out uh, the, what, we, what we're trying to do. And as I say, we, we're trying to make a, a working loco that's useful. So there will be some changes like uh, fitting the chopper couplings. Um, but on the other hand, we don't want to change things just for the sake of a bit more performance. We want to, um, say, a, a working museum piece. So we won't be superheating the boiler or making any fundamental changes like that. So what will the first steps be? When's uh, the action going to start? Uh, the start of the work will be uh, on Sunday the 4th of May, uh, where what we're going to do, we're going to bring the loco into Boston Lodge Works and we're going to start carefully uh, dismantling uh, to see what uh, see what's revealed as we uh, get the loco to pieces and um, the uh, the public are going to be allowed in to uh, have a look at that process going on which is the first time we've done done that at Boston Lodge. And of course the, the final question that everybody's got is what colour will it be? Right well uh, over the years the uh, this loco was uh, in various different colours um, Obviously the green is uh, a traditional one for FR engines, but um, we, we've got uh, two of the other England engines that are restored and running, the uh, Prince and the Palmerston, they're a sort of uh, maroon colour, but uh, at one time this engine was a, a nice blue colour, and uh, well I think it should be, uh, I think it should be blue, but uh, I think there's going to be a bit of a debate and a discussion about that.